could be a really unique experience for you. Um, and we did a, we wrote it with a good friend of ours named Don Frimmer. And uh, our writing sessions start out with, well, it's, it's, it's more like a football scrimmage, you know, over coffee. And then we end up writing amazingly, amazingly we end up writing anything like sensitive stuff you know but you never know if you met the three saw the three of us in a room you think there's all the sensitivity of a blocked punt yes <laughs> yeah. so uh well, we wrote this and we did a little uh, work tape in, in his uh, uh, office and we don't want you to feel pressured right yeah don't yeah it's only our pressure. lives here right so uh you ready but, yeah, but hold on, this, this, this is a, with part of what we do after we get it is we, we pitch it and try and get it recorded by somebody and, and um, my publisher played it for uh, Tony Brown and uh, Tony, you know, uh, produces some really big acts and uh, so we're, he loved the song and wow, this is great and uh, we get a call and he, uh, I think he wants to cut it on Joe Cocker. And, and that sounds really good, except I think Joe Cocker's, what, 94? Yeah, he's 70, 70, just turned 72, okay. I think. So, and he had vocal transplant. Yeah. Uh, vocal cord transplant. So we're really optimistic, actually. Actually, Tony put the, wanted to cut this on Brooks and Dunn, so we'll see what... He wanted Ronnie Dunn to sing this. And so, if any of you know Ronnie, uh, I'm going to drop uh, some threats by the house or anything, it'd be good. What's the name of the song, Marky? Uh, it's called One Faithful Woman. What tempo do you want here? Not too slow, not too fast. <laughs> No! 